Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's me, Teresa Perrin. I'm giving you Wednesday, September 21st, 2022's watch list. Please remember, nothing I say is financial advice. Again, these are things I'm watching. I'm not necessarily buying them because I need to wait for that point. And some of these, like Sava, I already have. Now, let's get started. And if you could, do me a favor and hit the like button so that other people can see this list and help us get the word out about stocks to keep an eye on. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button so that you get a notification when I put out my daily watch list. All right, guys, number one on my watch list is Cassava Science, ticker S-A-V-A, -A. S is in Sierra, A is in Alpha, V is in Victor, A is in Alpha. And guys, if you haven't already watched the video I did last night, breaking this down for you. However, it is apparently starting to have a short slash gamma squeeze. It's a combination, in my opinion, based on the options chain and based on the 33% short interest. I expect this to continue its move upward. It had a great catalyst yesterday with um, the SEC um, dropping their investigation because science has proven that, um, you know, the Hindenburg report was false and that the science is behind Saba. So this is very beneficial to the company and to everybody um, with Alzheimer's and their families. Next is RMED, ticker R-M-E-D, R is in Romeo, M is in Michael, E is in Echo, D as in Delta. Guys, this had a one for 50 vote for a reverse split that is going to be occurring um, on September 30th. And I really believe that the trend is going to continue in the upward direction prior to that. And it may really blast off because this is a very heavily shorted stock and one for 50 is significant enough that it's going to make a difference in price and shorts, if they're smart, are gonna try to cover this early because they see what's been happening with stocks like Pixie. PGY, look at this. In the past week, it's dropped 80.77%. Guys, this could drop more. This is solely a watch for me because of this massive drop. I'd like to see if things start shifting and this makes a move upward. I am not recommending you buy this at any point. It is a very heavy, like high risk play and it could continue to move down. I don't know the reason for the drop. I just find it huge and usually you see some kind of a bounce from that. Jivo, G is in golf, E is in echo, V is in Victor, O is in Oscar. Guys, this stock is a great long-term portfolio banger to have in your list, um, but they've had a lot of catalysts lately that just haven't taken off due to the crappy marketplace that we're in. Um, so this is on my watch list for a move to the upside. It did have some moves in pre-market that were beat back down at Big Green Candle um, in after hours yesterday. So um, it's just something that I think could make a move to the upside very soon. May not be today, but I'm definitely watching it. Ford, God, guys, um, you know, they came out and were honest with people about their situation with supply and got beaten down, ticker F, sorry, by the way, um, and had a massive over 10% sell off yesterday. And I am looking for the bounce back to the upside because in my opinion, that was a huge overreaction that probably just set off algos. Um, and I think it can move up just as fast once it starts going. Neptune. Neptune Wellness has been consolidating for quite some time at the $2 range in pre-market. It's up 11 cents to 211, um, which is a 5.5% move. I'm sorry, ticker again is N as in November, E as in Echo, P as in Papa, T as in Tango. So guys, I am watching for this to see if it has a breakout to the upside again, or if this is just some pre-market covering or something, I'm not quite sure. Again, these are recommendations to watch, not necessarily buy. Wish. Wish is definitely on my radar because guys, this was a $30 stock at one point and it is down to 96 cents. I'm not sure if it found its bottom at 90 cents and but it's trying to move up. However, this could consolidate for some time or it could continue to move down. This market is very strange and um, you know, I just want to see how this one plays out because I don't think it deserves to be at 96 cents. Uh, Revlon, guys, I am looking for a technical breakout. As you can see in the past month, Revlon has been consolidating after a 27% move down. And technically it could go in either direction. So I am just eyeing it to see if it moves to the upside. It does have a very high short interest again, over 30% at the last time I checked. So um, I'm thinking that any good news could send this moving up. 
TBLT, tough built. Uh, T is in tango, B is in brava, L is in limo, T as in tango. Guys, tough built is down 13.79% um, in the past week. They are another company that's had a lot of good news. It tends to have wild swings between two and five dollars. And right now it's in that bottom range at two dollars and twenty five cents. And it did hit two. I believe it hit two. Um, so, guys, this is definitely on my radar for a move to the upside. Another stock that's been like seriously beaten down that, in my opinion, has shown nothing but growth. And um, you want a company to invest in long term and you're going to see some big moves when this market recovers. This is definitely one of them. Spy. I think Spy is going to have um, some big moves today because obviously Powell's speaking and I'm going to be watching to see if there's anything worth taking advantage of, whether it be to the up or the downside, guys. You can play calls and you can play puts in these stocks. And also you could play it as a hedge for other things in your portfolio. Just in case there's a move to the downside, you know, you could buy a protective put. I'm not suggesting you do that. If you don't know what you're doing, then definitely don't touch it because these expire very quickly. Um, either today or Friday are your two options you would need to purchase. Um, I believe um, I could be wrong because I haven't even looked to see what's there, but they expire every two days. So normally Monday, Wednesday, Friday is the way they work. Um, but guys, uh, this is definitely one that you could see some volatility and make some money in either direction. Now, SOBR um, got news about them, ha them considering having to um, put devices in new cars going forward for your blood alcohol contact. Um, and that sent this flying in the after hours yesterday up 173.79%. And guys, it hit like $4 or something at one point. It was just crazy. So I'll be watching this to see because it's pulled back down if it consolidates and makes a move to the upside. And then I'm also watching D as in Delta, G as in Golf, L as in Lima, Y as in Yankee, because this is another company with the same um, type of product, you know, for blood alcohol concentration in your vehicle. So I am going to see if it, you know, does a sympathy play or not. Um, but it did have a massive move, like up to 80 something cents in the after hours, and then it pulled back down, guys. So I think that this could technically have a move to the upside today. Saros. Uh, S as in Sierra, Y as in Yankee, R as in Romeo, S as in Sierra. Guys, this had a recent reverse split and they pulled it right back down like they generally do with reverse splits and not what we've been seeing lately though. This morning, um, right as I was about to record this, it broke out. So something's going on here. I think, I don't know, shorts are covering or if there was news I haven't had a chance to look yet because I want to get this out to you. But definitely this is... Sav is number one on my list today, and SYRS, Seros, is number two. I really think that we could have a big move to the upside today. AMTD, HKD, it's up 13% in the pre-market. Guys, this is a very volatile high-risk play. I won't touch this myself. However, there's lots of people that will. Um, so I'm bringing it to you because, it, you know, it's up $10 in the pre-market. It could have a big move. I'm not quite sure what's been going on with this lately. But if you look at the chart, it's had wild swings up, you know, over 100% in a day, over 200% in a day. It's just nuts. So something that if you like that kind of volatility, you may want to take a look at. Don't risk what you can't afford to lose because it can go down just as quick as it goes up. VRAX. VRAX had a very nice move yesterday. It's pulled back. Guys, this has been beat down. It was a $29 stock at one point and it's at $3.06. I'd like to see if this uptrend is a continuation. However, I am mindful that there's a gap filled down from yesterday's move. But, um, you know, 90% 90, 90 of gaps, I would say, or more get filled. However, does that mean it's going to happen right away? No. So, you know, maybe with today with the Fed, if the stocks move down, yeah, it could get that gap filled. But overall, I think that this is going to be a great stock to move to the upside. And I would say that anything under $5 is a steal for it. So I am keeping my eye on it. Uh, AVCT, I think you all know this if you watch this channel by now, but AVCT looks like it's going to have a flag breakout at some point. Um, I don't know how long this is going to continue, but I am watching for the next break and I would expect this to move to the upside. Again, those um, rumors that Microsoft is the company that is buying them out continue to be floating around. Guys, uh, like I said, there's no proof of this. So, hey, you want to spread rumors and the stock goes flying, I'll take it whatever way it goes up. 
up, that'd be great. But guys, I'm not going to contribute to that and be dishonest with you. I do not have any proof that that is the company that is trying to purchase them. I do know that this company is a bio candidate and the writing on the wall is that that's going to happen soon. So um, definitely high on my watch list. Great position that, you know, I just try to keep adding to. Indo. Indo is an amazing play, guys, and this should be on everyone's watch list. This kind of has been bouncing recently between like the six and eight or nine dollar zone since it's had this massive sell off where I think it hit somewhere close to 100 or maybe even over $100. I can't remember the exact number at this time. But guys, this is going to be a banger in the energy field, in my opinion. And, you know, this is in Indonesia. And I actually lived in Indonesia for part of my life. My first husband was Indonesian. And um, I did live there. And my daughter's half Indonesian. And I'm telling you, they have a ton of natural resources. When they were digging for oil, they found gas or what they think is a gas channel. So guys, um, there is news waiting to be broken because they're doing more investigating because this could be just an amazing find for them. They could be sitting on both natural gas and oil fields. So I really believe that this is long term going to be an absolute banger and that news should be breaking any time now. And when it does, I think you're going to see a huge move to the upside if indeed um, they are in a rich natural gas area. Hal. Hal is also an energy play. This is a gas company. Um, and I am watching them for a move to the upside guys, because I think that it's going to get very expensive and that these companies are going to make a ton of money. This has kind of been um, in the past three months, just consolidating. And I think it's getting closer to having a breakout. So guys, um, it's at 28, which tends to be the bottom of where it consolidates. Yes, it could go slightly lower, but I think we're going to see a move up towards 32 relatively soon as that tends to be where it hits and comes back down. Does it mean it's going to come back down again? No, it could actually get its breakout. I don't know but you know that's the area that I'm targeting for moving up and down and playing this for what it's worth. Uh, Palantir is trending right now. Ticker PLTR. P is in Papa. L is in Lima. T is in Tango. R is in Romeo. They are up um, just three cents in the pre-market at time of writing. But guys, um, you know there's a huge contract they had with um, for twenty million dollars with uh, Hyundai Heavy Industries. So. I believe that this potentially could be a runner today. Again, a lot's going to determine what Powell says. If the interest rate is 0 0.75, it's been pri or 75 basis points, then it's been priced in. If it's 100 basis points, then um, at this point, I think some of it's been priced in, but it could, um, you know, lead to a little bit more volatili volatility than if we get the 75. If we get the 75, we might actually see a move to the upside because it's been priced in. And I believe that even the 100 may be priced in at this point. So it should be a very interesting day, very volatile. Be careful. Remember, you don't have to trade every day. Sometimes protecting your money is your best asset. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you could please hit the like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. And comment below if you like this new form of sending out my watch list because um, guys, I just don't trust um, AI and what they've been doing on Twitter. It seems like a lot of things that um, social media um, has been posting in the FinTwit community seems to not be taking off even when they're starting. So um, just going to try this for a little bit and see if it works out. Let me know your thoughts below. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you have any suggestions on how we can do it better, I'd appreciate that as well too. Thanks so much. Have a